Hey everyone, Wesley with DIY Dota Stud. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select the firefighter and copy him. Once he's copied, we'll go ahead and paste him. And this will allow us to be able to play with dynamic offsets. Next step is go up to path and go ahead and select dynamic offset. You guys notice a little dot on the top. This is how you go ahead and select so you can adjust the dynamic offset. Via this option, we can expand the image just a little bit so that when we put it over the flag, it looks perfect. As you can see, I'm just expanding it just a little bit here. Now we'll go ahead and um, select off of it and go ahead and move it over to the flag. You're going to want to zoom in and zoom out as needed to be able to place this in the right spot. So once you got in the perfect spot, go ahead and select both the firefighter and the flag. And then go back up to path again. And this time we're going to select difference. You're going to notice that the firefighter disappeared. That's why we made the copy. So now that we have done that, we could then go and bring our original firefighter over onto the screen and shrink to fit as needed. So here's a question for you. Do you remember where you were on 9-11? Put down in the comments if you do. Love to hear from all of you. Once you got that thing placed in just the right spot, I do recommend zooming in so that you can get a good spacing all around the firefighter. basically does it. Here's another question for you. Should we add a thin red line in the middle? It's a common thing with flags these days. Let me know what you think in the comments. Since this is going to be for a wood burn, I would do the next step. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select both the firefighter and the flag individually or just scroll over both of them and Open up the option for fill and stroke, and from there, go to the fill option and hit the X. Now the X will turn off your background, but once you go to stroke, you're going to see the highlighted lines around it, and there you go. That would be the easiest way so you can see the areas you're going to want to burn. Now from here, click on file, go to Doctor and properties. What I usually recommend is go ahead and resize your paper to eight and a half by 11, but because most wood drawings are landscape, I do suggest going landscape. Go ahead and select any additional clip art you have on there and delete it and select it all. Now, one thing to remember when using Inkscape, use your control button for even um, increase of size. This will allow everything to be the same size at this, without skewing the image. Go ahead and move it around. And to make this perfect, let's go ahead and add some text. On the left hand side, click on the A icon, and this will allow you to add text. Since I am trying to honor the World Trade Center, let's go ahead and put it in here, we will never forget. Let's, let's never forget what those heroes have done for us. Go ahead and center that out. And we're going to move it around. Let's, let's put this in the center here. And then we'll increase the font size. Double click on the text. And let's go ahead and increase this up to 64. Now similar to what we did with the firefighter and the flag, let's go ahead and change the stroke from fill to stroke by hitting the X and then stroke and putting the um, full size. And to make this perfect, let's go ahead and bold that text out. Double click on the text. And then go and change it from normal to bold. Center this up. Okay, we're almost done. Almost time for printing and then putting it onto our wood. 
look over your image, make sure there's no issues with any of the image. Ah, here we go. We got a little uh, spacing error. So go ahead and go over that and adjust to make it perfect for you. Ah, there we are. We're doing a wood burn. One final step before we print this out, we need to flip this horizontally. First, we're going to have to select the whole image. Then we'll go up to Object. And then just scroll down to Flip Horizontal. There we go. Go up to File and then Print. And then we'll take you to the next part where we're actually going to wood burn this. So what do you think about this project so far? Are you enjoying it? I hope so. Please leave a message in the comments. Love to hear. Check back for the next video in this series.